Hello guys, welcome to my video. Um, my name is Fola Shade and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a afro hawk or a mohawk um, about using your kinky hair or African American sort of hair and if you guys have not seen my uh, tutorial on how to do a afro bun or afro puff then please go to my channel and watch that uh, tutorial that I've done and it is sort of similar to this but maybe a little bit neater but um, yes uh, today I'm going to show you guys the products that I used to achieve the mohawk or the afro hawk or the fro hawk style and yeah let's get this started so today you will be needing uh, some bobby pins I think it's best if you buy a, a huge pack that's got a lot I normally go to my uh, African American stores which sells them in like in like six to eight bundles I've already finished probably about five bundles already and uh, you can also get them in Poundland as well if you're in London you can get them in Poundland and um, they give it in different colors but it's not really enough but you know it's only one pound so obviously you don't really expect that much but yes this was 2.99 or £2.50 from my memory the last time they keep on changing the price but um yes if you guys are in another part of the world like in America or so on uh, but yeah you can just use any bobby pin but it's best if you use a black one because it will probably um camouflage with your hair rather than using a color one you can use a color one you know just to style things a bit but um um, yeah I think it's best you use a black bobby pin and also you need some form of oil with you I normally have my uh, extra dark Jamaican black castor oil poured into this oil applicator and I also either use the rosemary or the lavender um, oil as well which costs around $8.99 or $10.99 um, and they're both eight ounces, so it's this two here. These two products I normally use. I've been using that uh, for the past nearly two years now. I'm going to be two years, as I said again, in um, two weeks' time. And yeah, I pour it into this. I think it's a lot easier if you have your oil in this package rather than you know in a, a container like so. It's it's not really ideal, but yeah, you know, everyone has their own different products that they use. But yeah. And you also need your um your oops sorry my bad I've got my hair from my coming my hair to prefer the video um so yeah you need a afro comb as well to obviously pick up your hair so that it's even and yeah you also need a brush as well just to lay down your your edges and also you can use a gel as well but I'm not a fan of gel that is why I use the oil because I hate white residues um I've never really liked gels i've always hated them i always make sure never to use them um but yeah if it's really really bad i have to use a gel then yeah i'll try it but but no i'm not going to use any more gel anymore but um yeah you need a brush as well at the same time so yeah let's start so what you need to do is you need to make sure that your hair is fully stretched and um not fully fully stretched but at least stretch to the maximum that you can do something with it and obviously my hair was obviously in a bun so it's already fully stretched and you just get your afro pick and you just comb it make sure it's even and you just comb it out because obviously you want your your fro arc to be a massive like huge <laughs> But yes, you just come up here. Make sure you comb it out evenly, like literally every side, every part of your hair needs to be combed out. You don't want to leave no gaps in between your hair because it would look really odd so make sure that it is combed out evenly on all sides you don't want to see no holes anywhere do you okay okay i think this one's fine i 
think that's enough. Right, so now what you need to do is get your oil applicator and or your any oil that you're using and rub it. So you need to make sure that or get your gel and rub it on your edges around your the perimeter of your hair. And um, I like to put a lot. I'm, I'm an oil junkie. I just I just love oil. The reason why I'm not putting in a lot is because I've already got oil in my hair because obviously I washed my hair yesterday. So I've literally got a lot. Make sure you comb it out again. Because you need to make sure it's really even. And now you need to get the brush and just sort of comb it, like brush it down. So that when you get your your bobby pins, it's smooth. So now you need to get your bobby pins. We'll just get two, and now you just, as you can see, I normally start from the side. Normally you just go this way you just put the pin like so you guys can see it okay now you need to get another pin and just lay it down Make sure you put a lot because obviously you want it to stay down. And then you put some more on this side. the back as well I use a lot of bobby pins when I get my hair like this Do it on the other side as well.
front bit. The reason why I said you guys should comb out your hair is because obviously you need it to be huge and just try and comb it out. Make sure you hold on to the pins. I've got one to put the pin on this side. more pins if you want. I know people don't really like the idea of putting pins but it does help a bit. Justin If you like me and your hair is like a little bit long at the front you need to like just curl it a little bit She's mohawk. My mohawk didn't come out the way it did because of the front. It's like the front is now outgrown itself basically. And I have to keep on putting pins because I think if I had used gel, it would have probably stayed down. But nah. I'm never going to use gel ever again. Like, like. Just sort of shape it up a bit, especially if your hair is long at the front.
my attempt at a mohawk. I've had more better mohawk when my hair was shorter, but now that my hair has outgrown itself, it's got its own mind of its own. But yes, guys, um, this is my attempt at a mohawk. And I'm gonna show you the back, the side. has literally grown at the front it wasn't like this long before now it's like this is the side but yes yeah, sorry guys if my mohawk or afro mohawk doesn't meet your standards but this is how it's going to play today you know those days where your hair doesn't do what you want it to do yeah today is the day and I've just got to stick with it, you know, I'm not going to fight it because I've tried to do that in the past but it never worked out, I just end up messing up my hair. So yeah, this is my attempted version today of my mohawk and yes, so if you guys have got other better ways that I can do it since my hair is growing then please just leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel for more videos and attempt and much more to come but yes guys yes I know my mohawk has just flopped but you know what I've tried I've tried my best but it has not it has failed me today but yes guys um so yes yeah, just like subscribe comment down below and watch my other videos I've got more videos to come I've got more videos already that I've already arrived posted sorry uploaded but yes thank you guys so much for watching my video and see you in the next video bye bye